welcome back. Hopefully uh, someone finds this either interesting, entertaining, or helpful in some way. I'm not wasting my time here. Uh, went and picked up the cattle panels. Got a total of 50 of them, three different types. Uh, three different types mainly uh, just for ease in assembling the gabion baskets. So the one that I have the most of, I got 25, and here's one of them laid out on the driveway. It's a standard feedlot cattle panel from Tractor Supply. It runs around $23. And the holes are six inch by eight on the top section. And then on the last two rows, it's uh, four inches by eight inches. So for a gabion basket, it's not really good, right? It's, uh, the openings are so large that the size of rocks you're gonna need to use, uh, most people are, aren't gonna be able to handle them. Uh, and if you're building very much of a wall, uh, you'd either look like the Hulk when you're finished or you'd be dead, something like that. Uh, so the idea uh, and the reason I bought the, you know, like I say, the different sizes was so that I could do this. So uh, the first wall that I'm building is two foot by two foot. So uh, six inch squares, so count it over, cut it. Cut it like that. Used uh, bolt cutters. You could use a cutoff wheel on a grinder. You know, uh, there's a lot of different ways you could cut this. It's four gauge uh, steel, galvanized. Uh, so it's been uh, hot dip galvanized uh, after it was welded. The other thing that's kind of interesting is you'll see that, uh, so the way I laid this one out, the wires that are running away from me are on the bottom. And then the wires that are running uh, across are on top. So I got this panel cut, it's 16 foot long. Uh, two foot wide. This is going to be um, my start of my gabion basket. The piece that I had left over is not counting these little tabs, you know, that are left over. The blocks, it's 20 inches. Two sixes, two fours. So um, if I take that and I flip it, so that the wires lay together. Let's see. Just to kind of give you an idea what this is going to look like. Well, that's about the mark. Okay, so the idea when I get these cut up and I'm getting them laid out, I'm going to overlap them like this. So instead of just the piece I cut folded back over on itself, uh, I'm going to offset it about halfway down the middle. And so when I tie these two sections together, and then I tie the next section to it and so on and so on as I go out, it basically becomes one complete unit. So if any part of this basket moves, the whole thing would have to move. So you're not moving the weight of one 16 foot long basket. In the case, my first wall, you'd have to move a basket that's uh, you know, 70 feet long. So that's the idea. Uh, so by folding this back over, now this opening, now this opening becomes four inches by three inches. The next one is three inches by four inches, so on and so forth. Up here, it gets a little kind of oddball because of the four inch opening. So there is a one, one gap in here where there is a four inch opening. Um. Uh, but in general, it's 
very solid. So the idea would be that four inch opening is gonna be um, set to the back corner. I'm gonna put the largest rocks in, in the back, on the, on the bottom on the back, and we'll just go from there. But anyway, uh, so overlapped, tied together. So tie together, how are we gonna do that? Um, chain link fencing. You go into that section of the store, you'll find this stuff, and if the camera will focus on it. 170 foot roll, nine gauge tension wire. So it's a high tensile strength wire. It's nine gauge, so it's not so big that I can't wrap it. Uh, and it's galvanized for corrosion resistance as well. So this wire is what I'm gonna use and I'll cut pieces of it and wrap and tie this together. And I'm gonna do that once I actually have it laid out into uh, where the wall is gonna be built. And the reason I say that is uh, by overlapping these and tying them all together, this basically becomes one single unit uh, once I'm finished. So I'm gonna cut the pieces like this. Uh, I'll lay them out into where the, where the wall is gonna be built. And then I'll use the nine gauge wire to tie it all together. So once I have the, the bottom and two sides done, uh, and the ends, uh, I'll fill it with rock, and then the last thing I'll do is put a top on it and follow the same process for the top. But hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully uh, it's helpful for someone. If you got any questions, you can post them, and I'll try to answer them. I'll make something up. Thanks.